minus three days until we are going to Mexico, which is very, very exciting. And we are doing a muscle building uh, update on where I've got in terms of my progress with Darren uh, and what the plans are for Mexico as well. So um, I've got posing lessons tomorrow, which I'm going to show you. Uh, I've got arm day today, which is going to be nice, and a bunch of work to do. Loads and loads of work. I just going to be so, so, so busy today. So I'm um, going to come with me on my day. We're going to talk about my uh, my journey, uh, the progress that I've made, which I think is pretty fucking decent. And yeah, we'll catch you as we go. Today's going to be a bit of everything, uh, a bit of shit mix. Uh, then I've got my workout because I'm way behind because we stayed in bed a little bit longer. Um, and now it's time to do some work. Bagel has gone in, jam has gone in, chicken has gone in, so pre-workout meal, different one today because I, I want the cream of rice afterwards. But we would be going in the car, but my dear lady had decided to try and run me over yesterday and to have that karma as a bitch mentality, her car broke and we just tried to do it again and it's not worked. So we're Ubering um, because I can't walk and then we are training. So I'll take you through the gym session today, it's arms, so I've got the vest on underneath these this uh, t-shirt to show you the puppies and then we'll uh, update you about the muscle building journey after we've trained whilst I've got a pump on.
you Millie? Are you coached by Millie? What did you say? Are you coached by Millie? Uh, no, I'm Millie. Oh, uh, so where's the coach by? I, I'm the coach. <laughs> Friday morning, 7.30. Today is the day in which I go and get my lip surgery, so this little fucker has been really, really kicking my ass for like the last year. It's making me super self-conscious. I actually, um, it keeps swelling up, and it was something like I ate food, and then basically I missed, my, I missed food and I got my teeth and took a chunk out of it. It just hasn't recovered. It got better with some of the, the assistants that I was using. For some reason, the growth hormone made it grow a bit, uh, not grow, but heal a bit quicker. But it still left the the, the mark, and it's like quite hard. Like it looks like a blister. Um, so uh, after a year, I'm going to go and finally get it done today. So I got local anaesthetic, and we're going to go and see a guy uh, at Hertfordshire Hospital, Three Shires, and get that done this morning. So I'm going to go and get an Uber there now, and then basically I do a half day's work because. I'm not going to be able to do anything this morning apart from on the way to the place. Shouldn't affect training at all, it's just a nice little thing that I can get done. Um, so, part of, part of action is go and get that done now, have a coffee, uh, journal, and then drink some water and brush my teeth. And then go, come back, half day of work, and then we are into the weekend. Got posing lesson on Saturday morning, client setups, another training session, which I'm sore as fuck by the way. It's just uh, I've had to train four days on the run today, this week, and it's been fucking hard. So I'm going to show you that, guys, you're going to come with me, and we're going to go and see what this lip thing is about. This video for a very, very important announcement. I want to invite you all to our Facebook group. We have a Six Phases to Forever Facebook group, which is a part of our coaching process that is free, that you can get lots and lots of value on a week-to-week -week basis. I go live once a week. There's plenty of content in there, and there's always special bonus material. If you're looking at getting in shape or how to, and how to stay in shape forever. So if you are wanting that, the link will be here somewhere, and then also it'll be in the description. So guys, see you there, and you get to see my ugly mug on a week-to-week -week basis. In and out in about 35 minutes, I feel like I've just been molested in my face and now I've been chucked out back at home. So, that didn't hurt one bit. Local anaesthetic is fantastic, it's just phenomenal. It's just like being at the dentist last week, the same as last week. So, this is done now. I can't really speak, so the rest of the video will be done tomorrow with my posing and then I'll talk tomorrow when this is healed up. We're about to clean the house, get work done. I suppose I was in sales course tonight, but I don't think that's going to happen. And it's Friday. I just got to try and figure out what to eat. So I messaged Darren to see what he would recommend to eat. That would be like basically baby food or sucking through a straw. So let's see what happens on that. But I feel molested 30 minutes in and out in a hospital. That's pretty decent. Love private instead of uh, NHS. Sorry. <laughs> Saturday morning, 
and I've had the worst night's sleep ever because of my fucking lip. But um, it's done and dusted now, which is great. Which I'm absolutely really, really pleased about. Hopefully, this will never come back. I managed to get some soft food in last night. I tried to have some like some garlic bread stuff in the house, so I was like, do I eat that? Yeah, okay, cool. And just had that, so not too bad. My water, but water intake's down a little bit yesterday, so my body weight's dropped like 159, like 161 yesterday, so I need to get some fluids in today. But I want to give you an update before I have my posing lesson, uh, and I want to just kind of go through how it's been over the last, I think, six weeks with Darren. So you might see the, I might put the pictures up here of the progress that I've made over the course time period. So we went from 164, 165 uh, down to 131, 130, 161, 162 very, very quickly. With the addition of like growth and then me fucking around with the dosages, uh, my body weight kind of just kept on like it kind of had this spike even though we were trying to recomp. Uh, there was like this watery feeling and the, I mentioned it in the last video about taking too much. Basically my, uh, my first pictures that I ever did for Darren on the vlog was just this like, I thought I was getting bigger, but actually I just was like holding a lot of water attention. So I ran out of growth a couple of a couple of seven days ago. So I have been and I'm going to Mexico tomorrow. So I haven't re uh, re upped that. So it's just been test this week um, for 300 and fucking sore. Uh, so I the growth was doing some bits. But in terms of the progress of the last six weeks, it's been one of those that has helped me physically, but also mentally. I know in the past that I've been this like binge eater, emotional eater, but actually having this like this is the things that you need to focus on specifically. No funny in around no intricacies, no tracking loads of data, just keeping it super, super simple has been incredibly useful for me. I always do that with my clients anyway, so to have that done to me, and I think Darren actually reminds me of myself in my coaching, like, there's no bullshit, there's no, like, over excitement, but there's no over, like, critique, um, there's just, it is what it is, um, and it's been really, really good. I think the one thing that I did struggle with, and I actually asked him last week, I was like, are you sure you're happy with our progress? Because I just, I, I hadn't been in a position where I had to trust someone implicitly, I've never done a recomp phase before, so this was something new for me. So going into this phase, I was like, I don't know what to expect. I don't know what targets I should be setting. I don't know what tangible targets I should be aiming for. I don't know whether I should see body fat coming down. I shouldn't know if I should be shredded. I don't know if I should just be getting bigger and you know whatever. But he's been he's been really good at just leveraging that. And I took a week off at uh, training at Christmas. The business got super super busy, and that was that was my bad. I didn't stay on top of it. We traveled to Manchester, as you've seen. Uh, we did all that type of stuff. We just didn't train. So you know, out of the six weeks that we've been to work working together now. I've trained five consistently in three different fucking gyms. Uh, I went to obviously Binos in Dubai, then I was at, I, went, I went to a, a budget gym, a pure gym over, uh, before Christmas when I was home, and then I've been training at Atlas in Milton Keynes for now the last couple of weeks, and it's just like the inconsistencies of training, but the, the reality is that every single session that I've gone in, especially in this last week, it's been a joke, I've been saying to Mills, I've been coming home and being like, if I want to put a, put a plate on the fucking machine, I put an extra plate on, I still get the extra reps. So strength at, at the moment is like, not all time high, because the usage, the usage of gear that I was using in 27 just made it sure that I was just fucking superhuman. As I remember, safety bar, uh, safety bar, RD, uh, good morning, 140 kilos, RDLing 160 for eight, uh, pressing the 55 kilo dumbbells, shoulder pressing the 50s, uh, military pressing 100 kilos for 110 kilos for three. So I'm not on that all time strength, but for the minimal dosage plus the time spent with Darren and, and Spain at this phase. I'm really, really happy with the strength progress, and we know that that strength leads to hypertrophy over time. So I'm happy that the progress is going well. Obviously, moving to Mexico on Sunday will take uh, it. It won't take that much to adjust. At the end of the day, as I've travelled so much that I've got no excuse to kind of you know not come uh, go the shopping on Monday and get everything done. Like I'm not going to be that wet lettuce that goes on. One, uh, I don't know where everything is. I don't know where the supermarket is. It, you can Google Map shit and you can get it done very, very quickly. So it'll probably be tracking for a few days and I'm back on the meal plan. And then the thing is with that meal plan is that it's a allowed me to create structure in my day significantly and get the foods that I really enjoy. There's nothing on the meal plan I don't like. I'm eating steak and chicken every single day. Um, I'm eating eggs on rest days. I'm eating cream of rice and yogurts and berries and fruits. Like It's a really very nutritious uh, meal plan, which I'm absolutely fine with. Also, what that meal plan does is, like, because of my emotional eating background, when I start thinking about, oh, I should have this tonight instead of what I'm doing, I already know that it's not the meal plan issue, it's actually just my my own emotions that I'm not regulating. Thursday and Fridays are normally the times where I'm super busy from the week, I've, I've worked, you know, 10 to 11 hours every single day, I'm getting to Thursday, I'm like, oh, I could do the pizza. And it's like, no, no, if you don't want a pizza, you just want to get less stressed. So, it's been a good way to identify my mechanisms for, like, why previously, 
in the years and the months gone by, I'd probably let myself, you know, fall into that trap of either going, eating what I want, but then also like just falling into the track tracking method and not being able to like kind of estimate foods when I've been out. So the, the body weight would creep up incrementally. But like for the last three weeks, we've stayed at like the 159 to, to 161 marker, which, which, and then if you look at my pictures, I, I feel like I'm getting bigger. I'm not getting incredibly leaner. Um, like as, as you would in a diet, like it's not the same type of loss that you, that you occur on a week to week basis, but I do feel like my shape is changing every single week. There's little bits and bobs to look at in terms of the changes, especially with this posing lesson that's going to show me a, how shit I am posing, but it'd be probably accentuate, accentuate my physique as much as I can. Even in the last two weeks, Mill's been like kind of, we've been dicking around in the front room cause she's got a new coach. She's got a, she had her first posing lesson for, for, for the comps that she's doing in 23 and we were just dicking around in the front room and I was just taking the piss out of her and then she was just like, I'll just arch your back in that position and then put your hands up and then even just doing that, my my, low, my my back shape has just increased in terms of the V taper just by changing my lower back position. I didn't know anything about that, but she just tweaked me to that and I'm really excited to see her. I, I now see a physique that you know, I've seen on these stages year in year. Uh, year out when it comes to these pictures and I think I'm gonna well I think I know I'm gonna be competitive and I know that that shape is exactly what people fucking want to see so I'm really excited about this so I'm gonna take you through this posing lesson but the last six weeks has been phenomenal you know only a four pound change but also um, my shape and my rig is just completely different I'll put um, I'll put the pictures somewhere in here of the ones I sent to Darren to, to check in with him for the first week when I was like can you start working with me and then put in uh, this week's check-in photos uh, and you'll see the the difference is massive in terms of the size, my chest, my back, even just looking like here, you've obviously got the fucking humps and the traps are out. So yeah, I'm really, really excited about that. I know it's like small changes, I'm getting excited over this, but um, I think that you know this bodes well for the for the ten kilos that we need to put on, you know, six, seven weeks or something like that. We've only we've got another like sixty weeks to go. And this progress continues to channel, then it's it's gonna be phenomenal. So uh, when I get to do uh, when I get to Mexico, we've just gotta go on go on all guns blazing. We've got a block of six weeks. Uh, well I've got six weeks, Mills is gonna come in two weeks. Um so it's six weeks for me and then we go to Vegas and Miami. We're probably gonna take a week off there. Um because we're taking it off work, we're taking it off everything. So we're gonna go to Vegas to shoot some guns, go to Wet Republic, you know, have a nice time off. Um, because we haven't had any time off for a long time, we didn't even have any time over off over Christmas because we were working so much. Uh, we had Christmas Eve, half a day on Christmas Eve, and then we had um, Christmas Day, and then uh, we were kind of back to it halfway through Boxing Day. So. It is what it is. Um, so we'll take some time off in Vegas and Miami. Uh, just looking at hotels from Miami now, which is going to be wicked. Um, going down South Beach. No basketball on, unfortunately, this time of year, which is fucking shit. There's one uh, There's one on the 5th of March, but I, I fly out on the 5th of March, so I can't do that. So it's actually going to be a trip to America without any sports, which is very unlike me, but it is what it is. We're going there to relax, do nothing, lay on the beach, go for some good food, go and see some friends. Um, and and really do that. So I'm gonna take you through the posing lessons now, um, and see what the what happened. Well, I don't even know if I can coordinate my body, so this is gonna be fucking hilarious. But yeah, and a, and a quick one is the reason why I'm doing posing, in, and I've got like 14 months before I even start dieting, is because one of the biggest factors around it being a visual sport is you have to be able to display it. Like I, it doesn't matter how much fucking slabs and muscle tissue you've got on or if you're the shredder just do like shred shreds really help but reality is if you can't present your physique well in a phys visual subjective based sport then you're really not going after the competition right like if you're just focusing on getting shredded that would be great that's one part of the competition but it's like it's like being a great footballer um, but only being great at free kicks and you still got to play 90 minutes you still got to track back you still got to go and defend you still got to go and then you know take a penalty there's so many fundamentals to this that a lot of people disregard and they don't start earlier on in their journey or their, their their like their building phases because they think it doesn't matter but actually if you look at the 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 ballet or you look at those things right there's a reason why they practice day in day out to be uh, to present themselves and do this theatrical process the best way that they can because it's a subjective based stuff people want to see lines people want to see shapes people want to see you confident people want to say you see you hit that spot every day and not just be like oh yeah well they're wearing tight so they must be a ballet 
it must be a, a ballet or whatever you call them. So the uh, reason is is that you know gonna gonna start doing like well first I'm gonna do an intense block of three. So probably next week I'll do three and I'll record those for you guys. But then after that we're gonna do I'm gonna go on to this guy's um, monthly package where we do weekly check-ins for posing. So like I would do with my clients, but do it for posing and then do two two calls a month. And we do that on all the way and we ride that into the show and then just see if we need to increase it as we go. But I think if I do the leg work now, then it will be absolutely set for 14 months time. And to be honest, like 14 months time, there's going to be a fucking more slabs and muscles to just show. So these, this is just a starting block. We like with everything. I don't get, I don't really care how shit I am today. I don't really care if I nail it. I don't care if I look shit, even if I'm fat, you know, got these little fucking man titties going. Like, I don't care about that. I care that in 14 months time, that what I'm doing today is a, is going to be a result of that. So you know that's the that's the game, right? You can't can't expect a banger free kick like David Beckham into the top corner in Greece and uh, in, in the Euros and not have the 20 years of practice beforehand. So it is what it is. I'm going to start today and then you know you can only get better from these shit ones. I tell you that. So when you're doing your check in with your coach, uh, what poses do you hit? Uh, I just normally either do like I, I I just take some shit ones like so I just like that. So we're going to put all of our weight onto your right leg. Cool. There it is. Shift everything onto the right leg. Have your left feet just pointed out a little bit. Yeah, that's it. Good. Now flip that lats up. Good. And now, obviously, with your left arm, I want you to bring your left elbows forward. Good. Nice. There it is. And obviously, your abs. to make sure we're hitting it better. So what I'm going to do for you, if you turn around, Nathan, I'll show you how to hit that back post. So, um, it's a back post that a lot of people get um, confused, but I'll show you the best way to hit it. So, you got to you got to try and think about it as, see if you're going to do like a, a front, what you call it, a last spread, like this. Think about doing that and then drop your arms down like that. And that's essentially your back post. Okay. You just got to bump your chest nice and high. So this is how you want your back post to look like from the front. So from the front, you want, your, you want your elbows to be low, mm -hmm. so you don't want to raise your elbow to go high. I'll tell you about the biomechanics about that also. So when you raise your elbow high, so people try to flare the lats up by bringing their elbows up. But what that does essentially, it's actually, it makes your, it makes your lats uh, look less thicker. Because if you bring it down, you have more of a muscle, muscle belly at the bottom. But once you raise... Yeah, it's good. I like it though. It's good. You get, now that I know the techers, I can like uh, I can sink my teeth into it beforehand and just dicking around. So now I'm, I, I like yeah. I love a bit. I love shit that I can get better at. So it's gonna be good. Yeah, 
Yeah, man, it's going to be fun, man. Obviously, we just sorted the basics today, just making sure that you nail the basics. Because obviously, those there's a lot to take in, and there's a lot to for us to make sure we're hitting on point. So I'm going to get, I'm going to record this session for you now, um, and then we're going to go through everything all together. video for this video so it's now two or three days after we're in Mexico which is going to be the next video so I'm not going to say too much but thank you very much for watching this video that was an update of my muscle building for the last six weeks the posing uh, with Isaac and hopefully you got a good insight into what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis so guys keep tuned for the next episode thank you thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video